What is supercomputer? Presented by Zero2ProTraining.com In this video, we will talk about, what is a supercomputer? A supercomputer is a computer, at the front line of, contemporary processing capacity. The calculation can could take happen, at speeds of nanoseconds. Supercomputers were introduced, in the 1960s. They were made initially, primarily by Seymour Cray, at, Control Data Corporation. For decades, Seymour Cray, and companies bearing his monogram, were the only manufacturers. While the supercomputers of 1970s, used only a few processors. But in 1990s, machines with thousands of processors, began to appear. By the end of 20th century, massively parallel supercomputers, with tens of thousands processors were the norm. As of November 2013, China's Chenhu supercomputer, is the fastest in the world. It computes at 33.86 quadrillion floating point operations, per second. Systems with massive numbers of processors, generally take one of two paths. In one approach, a large number of discrete computers, distributed across a network, devote some or all of their time, to solving a common problem. Each individual computer, receives and completes many small tasks. And, reports the results to a central server. Which integrates the task results, from all the clients, into the overall solution. In another approach, a large number of dedicated processors are placed, in close proximity, to each other. This saves considerable time, moving data around, and makes it possible for the processors, to work together. The use of multi-core processors, combined with centralization, is an emerging trend. Supercomputers play an important role, in the field of computational science, and are used for a wide range of computationally intensive tasks, in various fields, including quantum mechanics, weather forecasting, climate research, oil and gas exploration, molecular modeling, and physical simulations. In molecular modeling, they are used in computing the structures and properties of chemical compounds, biological macromolecules, polymers, and crystals. In physical simulations, they are used to simulate moments of the universe, airplane and spacecraft aerodynamics, the detonation of nuclear weapons, and nuclear fusion. Throughout their history, they have been essential, in the field of cryptanalysis. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero2protraining.com.